Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Alicia. I'm the Soul Crafty Teacher. Today we are going to make a baby blanket. It's going to be double sided with flannel and minky and it will have a name and an applique on it. So let's get started. Hey Crafty Scholar, today is the day. I'm going to use that beautiful fabric or some of that beautiful fabric that I showed you in my fabric haul. So let's get started with what you would need. This is flannel and it has the dinosaurs on it. This is my beautiful green minky dot. So I have that. The blanket is going to be 27 by 35 inches. Okay, I'm also going to be using some clips. Got a few pins that I'm going to use. I'm also going to be using this for the applique, new dinosaur applique. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and prep my applique fabric. So now it's time to prep the fabric. And so I have the fabric. This is the flannel part of the blanket. So I'm going to take it and I want this to be about 36 inches long. So about the, in the length of my mat. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that. There's 36 inches long and about 28 inches wide. What I'm going to do Pay attention because this is directional fabric. So what I mean by directional, that the print is either up or the print is either down. So you need to make sure that your print is up. Okay, so you have that. I have it. Make sure you press it or iron out all the little kinks and wrinkles. So the length is gonna be 36 and the width is gonna be 28 inches. So I'm gonna line it up. And I'm gonna start at 28. Slide it down some more. Okay, it's gonna be 36 inches long. So I have 36 inches long, it's already measured. And then I'm gonna have 28 inches wide. So I just cut that. I'm done with cutting this. Now I'm gonna cut my minky. My minky fabric is going to be just a little bit bigger. Okay, now, so I have both pieces cut. You want your, your minky fabric just about one inch um, more around because it tends to shift and you want to make sure that if there is some shifting that you have enough coverage so it's going to be 28 width and the length is going to be 36. okay so i want to make sure that i'm placing my applique in the right position i want it to be here I'm gonna be right there in the middle. Make sure it's in the center. So I'm gonna take my minky dot, right side up, put it together. Then I'm gonna take my pen and I'm going to mark it. So this is a water soluble pen, so water get rid of the mark. Let's open it back up. Now that I have my mark, I have my center point. Okay, so I have my center point marked. Now that I have my sensor point, I'm going to put in my Mighty Hoops. I'm going to use that. So my cutaway stabilizer, I'm going to put it here. And again, I have my center point. I'm going to just line it up between the dots, just like I do if I'm um, using a shirt, doing a shirt. So I have my points, I have my stabilizer. This one I am hooping the stabilizer. And I'm making sure I have my center point 
to make sure that my center point. So my center point is gonna be right here in between the two dots. And I'm facing it this way because when it goes on the machine, I want all the fabric to be hanging off, okay? And I'm just gonna have to turn my design around. So I'm gonna push this up. Now that I have my center point, I know where it is. Place it, I'm gonna push it up just a little bit. Now with my design, I probably three or four inches from where the hoop is, and then I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna hoop it. So, I'm gonna hoop it backwards, so when I put it on, it's gonna go on like this. But my design is gonna be flipped around. So now, making sure it's tight, just like a shirt, make sure you have that, make sure that bounce effect. So, I have it hooped. Now it's time to take it to the machine. Now I have the minky part um, already lined up. I have everything lined up. It is on my hoop. It is ready to go. I have my cutaway stabilizer. Here's my design. The reason why I flipped it is because I want the extra fabric um, that's not been appliqued. I want that to be hanging down instead of being up there. So I had to flip the design and so that it can be faced that way once I sew it together. So so I had, this was the placement stitch. The tack down stitch pretty much just holds the fabric in place so that you can cut it. So I'm gonna hit lock and it's gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna go back over it. I went ahead and trimmed the extra fabric so I just went around it and trimmed. And now I'm gonna put it back on the machine so now I can just do all of the stitching. So we're gonna let this stitch out and then I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna check on it. I pull off the water soluble stabilizer that went on top. So here is my cute design. So now I'm gonna take my iron. This is the Cricut Joy. And I'm just gonna iron the applique from the back. You don't wanna do it from the front because you might um, flatten those dots and you don't wanna ruin the cute fabric. But now it's time for Penny. So we're gonna take it and face it up. You want your two parts face it up. So the side with the print, you want them to be facing each other. Straight it out, I have my blanket and I'm gonna take this one, make sure I have it the right direction. And then I'm gonna put it this way. Okay, now it's time to pin. I'm gonna start. Okay, so I'm gonna lift up my foot. I'm using 100% polyester. Go ahead and take this pin out. Three fours. Okay, now that I have finished it, now that it's finished, I am going to cut extra fabric to have my opening right here so I can pull it through. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut and then I'm gonna round off my edges. Okay. 
And then when I get to my opening, I am just going to take it, make sure it fits inside. I'm gonna be able to tuck this inside so there's no issue. Okay, a couple of pieces here. Okay, I'm gonna round off the edges. So I'm just gonna cut as close as I can. Don't cut the stitch. I'm gonna go to my opening, reach all the way to the back, and pull this through. So now I have all of that done. I'm going to pin the opening closed. Fold it in. I'm going to hand stitch this way. Okay, so I'm just not trimming the, the extra thread. So I'm just checking everything and making sure I have all the threads. The blanket is done. Definitely not perfect, but it is done. I had a, it's still wet because I had to the rest of the material. So. Take it. I'm going to fold it. And I'm going to make sure that it is, make sure the name is centered. And there you have it, my first blanket. Well, that is all for today. My blanket is done. I hope you learned some tips and tricks along the way. I'm still working on perfecting my craft. I appreciate you. Thank you, Crafty Scholars. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and hit that notification bell so that you can catch all of my videos and catch all of my lives. Thank you so much. I appreciate your support. Ciao.